Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I will not waste any of your time. Uh, you already know what we are doing today. And by the way, hope everyone is enjoying the new A380X by Fly-by-Wire. Absolutely phenomenal aircraft. But today we are going to look at how to set up and calibrate the throttle for this one. Now, special one since it has four engines. Uh, I am going to be doing this setup with the um, with the honeycomb bravo throttle quadrant but this can pretty much be used for any throttle that you have i've also tried it with my x56 throttle here and it works just fine so first thing you would have to do is go to the control options controls options and uh, whichever throttle quadrant you have just create a new profile so click on open preset manager and then duplicate the default profile or whichever one you have and then just spe um, specifically save this for your four engine aircrafts. Now that you have a four engine profile here, all you have to do is go to power management, throttle, and if it's not set up, you'll have to look for these, but I have already set this up, so I'm going to leave them on the screen. Basically what I've done is throttle one axis zero to 100 through throttle four axis zero to 100 are all set up for these axes. One, two, three and four right and for the reversers i have set up like you see here throttle one decrease throttle two decrease throttle three decrease and throttle four decrease as these buttons right here so as i click on these buttons the throttle two and one decrease gets engaged now for a380 i think there's only two reversers on the mid two engines so two and three so if I click on these two, that should uh, that should uh, enable the reversers. And when I click them out and bring throttle up a notch and then back to idle, that should disengage them. So now that you know what settings I have here, let's go back and let's go to the main part, which is actually calibrating those. Um, so you go to settings page on the fly pad, sim options, throttle detents, and hit calibrate there. Now it's very important since we are using reversers on button click, we disable the reverser on axis. We do not have an axis assigned to reversers. We have a button assigned to the reversers, which is the throttle one through four decrease. So you disable this first of all. If you have toga on a button, for example, I have it here on the red button that's on my throttle quadrant here on the left, I would disable that as well. Now this is if you have all four throttle axis right if you do not have that if you only have two then you click on this and you um, calibrate engine one and two so the left engines on one axis and then the other two on the axis two but since here for this example we have four engines we are going to do this so like i said toga not on axis and reverser not on axis now click on idle idle is the first thing we are going to calibrate so bring all of your throttle levers to the flight detent um, notch here do not go all the way to the bottom because that's not an axis bring it just at that flight detent notch once all of them are there just click on set from throttle on all the four engines now that is done click on climb for climb you can bring all of them to somewhere in the middle here right and make sure all of them are matching up and you can see our engines revving already now that all of them are matching up just say set throttle on all of them and that should do and now flex for flex i would bring them up a little bit more not completely on toga but let's do that quickly <laughs> because we have our engines revving here I turned them on so that I can demo that to you. So now that flex is set as well, uh, bring all of them down to the idle position again. So now let's try them, try them out here. So I'll keep the engine page on here so that you guys can see what I'm doing. And I also have the throttle camera. So like you see, each of the engine is individually working just fine. And once I bring all of them to idle, if I enable the reversers, 
you will see that the reversers for engine 2 and 3 are working just fine as well because they are linked to these switches here remember that's not an axis that's a switch and there we go we are back to idle I can also do the same tutorial for x56 so let me know if you guys need any help with that apart from that thanks a lot for watching please like and subscribe that really helps the channel more than you think and it also helps with my motivation to make these videos for you so thanks a lot again by the way I cannot close this baggage door anymore and I gave up so I'm going to just reload the airplane and then fly again from Dubai